Hello everyone and welcome back to the Redux Toolkit introduction series. In this video we're gonna look at actions and action creators. So let's create an action folder in our store and an, a, a book actions dot js okay so in a normal redux application the pattern is to create a constant let's say add book just so we can have a constant for our dispatched action which is equal to a string and then normally in another folder we're gonna export an action creator function which will receive a payload and dispatch the action type it's gonna be add book and pass the payload forward okay but this takes a lot of code and let's say if you have 50 actions or 100 you get to write a lot of the same code without actually needing it to so what if you could make it easier using redux toolkit so just to create an action we're gonna import create action from redux toolkit and then to have the same effect as the all my lines before i'm just gonna export a constant like this it's gonna we're gonna call the create action function and just give a name to our action and that is it so we have created the action and the action creator just to show you this i'm gonna use the dummy reducer we created so we're gonna import something from our actions we're gonna get that add book action so let's see how we can access the action type so i'm gonna console log first the add book to string method okay let's go to our console refresh the app and if you ignore the the warnings here we can see in our dummy reducer we had the add book so this was our actual action type another way to access the action type is what was that is if we are using our our function in a string let's say a string template the action type is and then we're gonna do just add book in the background this string literal calls the to string method on the variable we passed onto here so you're gonna see if we refresh the app that we have the action type is add book okay but now the action creator we would need to dispatch that action let's see how we can access that action creator so let's just call the add book function and also we're gonna call it with a parameter so we're just gonna write test in here refresh our app and you can see the first two are our, our, our action types and then the next one is the dispatched action with the type of add book and an undefined payload because we didn't pass anything to this function and the second one with the payload is test so you can pass anything to that to that uh, action we created and it will be uh, added to the action with the payload keyword as it's the usual with uh, with redux great so we handled actions now 
In the next video, we will look at reducers and see how Redux Toolkit simplifies the way we create reducers. Thank you everyone for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.